I'm waiting for the litter box to stop removing the fresh dump my cat just put there. Okay, I think it's done. Hi, welcome to the bathroom decluttering vlog. I am moving in one month, I can't believe it, and I have to get rid of so much stuff. Um, my goal is to get rid of at least two thirds of the bathroom products I own. I know, that's a lot of stuff. Why do I have that much stuff to begin with? It's a mystery, okay? So the first thing I did was I did a deep clean of the bathroom. I'm gonna show you that in one second because I needed just like a blank slate. I wanted to lay everything out and look at it in groups, okay? So in like body care, makeup, blah, blah. I wanted to look at everything in their group and say, wow, this group should be only one third of what it is. I am really hung up on getting rid of two thirds of things. I will be sending most of the stuff to my cousin, so get excited for her. She will be pumped. The rest of it I will recycle. I will try and not trash. I, I want to have such a low trash rate here because it does make me sad to think about things going into the landfill because of my overconsumption. But if I have to throw some stuff away, I will, okay? So be warned. Um, but let's look at this clean bathroom, shall we? Ooh, it's so clean. Wow, oh my goodness. Who did this? Ashley did this. It's me, I did it. I am very proud of myself. Okay, I am going to, oh, can I see, can you see me? I am going to go gather every bathroom product. I'm gonna bring it in here. Pray for me. Okay, this is stuff from the attic, attic stuff. Basement stuff. One, two, three. Okay, now it's time for all the stuff from this bathroom. So things that were in the shower, things that were on the counter. <laughs> uh, I got a couple trips to do, so bear with me. Okay, so this is everything that I packed up um, from before when I started cleaning. And I'm realizing I have things in the medicine cabinet and under the sink that I need to get to, but I have now, but I have now put all of these bags in front of the sink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize everything into groups and then I'm gonna take stuff from under the sink and the medicine cabinet. Woo! for the rest of my life. I bought them to put into like cocktail dresses or any sort of fancy gowns I need to wear. 
so that it would absorb my sweat and I wouldn't stink up the gown. Cause you know, like when you're getting ready for a wedding, if you're wearing like a, any sort of dress for a wedding and you're dancing and your deodorant eventually wears off, okay? You've been dancing all night, you've been having so much fun. Um, you're supposed to put these in the armpit of your dress so that they absorb your sweat, but they're so incredibly awkward and they're bulky and they, they, they do, they are not flattering. I think I bought like 100 of them from Amazon. A neti pot I've never used. Why do I have so many random lip glosses and lipsticks from like eight years ago? Why do I belong to them? Is it echoey in here? Maybe cracking the door will help with the echo. Fingers crossed. used it three times maybe it was a gift from urban decay it's nice I'll never use it it's going to my cousin it's going to my cousin Okay, this is a perfect, ow. <laughs> this is a perfect example of why I have too much stuff, like, or how I became the person with too much stuff. You see these little testers? I got them for like a Sephora birthday thing. And then I cleaned them out. And I was like, they would be perfect to keep my little jewelry in on my nightstand. I'm never gonna do that. Why have I held on to these? I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit longer. <laughs> Okay, this bag appears to be all sort of like vitamins and expired medication. So I'm gonna go through that off camera. I'm gonna put it to the side. Back to business. Hi friends, I have officially organized everything into piles. I'll show you what they are. So I'm gonna go through each group and tell you what I'm keeping and what I'm not. This is body products. Face products, woo. To go stuff. Things definitely going to my cousin. Hair. Random medicine cabinet. Shower stuff, small soaps, box full of whatever, mouthwash, eye care, lip care, Things for my new face, 
the product. Makeup, the makeup chair. Sunscreen, nails. Okay, first up is body care. This should be easy. Definitely keeping this Lubriderm moisturizer. It has SPF 15, I use it every day. Definitely keeping this stuff, I use it every night. This is so good, it was a birthday present. I use it all the time. I actually do like one squirt of this everyday oil, which smells fantastic. And then I mix it with my uh, CeraVe, CeraVe, and it just creates the most wonderful lotion. This stuff I forgot about, but I'm gonna keep it because I remember really liking it and it's like almost full. Um, I haven't even opened this yet. This was a birthday present. Love this scent. Definitely keeping it. Use this every night. Put it on my lips. Um, this aloe vera, my mom bought when she was here. I'm not gonna use it ever. Uh, so I'm gonna re-gift, I'm gonna give it to someone. I was gonna say re-gift it, but it was never a gift to begin with. I bought this stuff and then I remember that I hate it. So I'm gonna give it to my cousin. Um, this is not mine, so I'm gonna give it to the person it belongs to. This should be in the travel. Oh, this is so good, but it is almost done. So I'm gonna bring it out from underneath the bottom of the sink and I'm gonna make sure I use it tonight. Love, 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 love this body spray. I guess this technically counts as a perfume, but I like to put it on after the shower. It smells so good. And then we have another Lonely Jergens Natural Glow that will also go to my cousin. Let's take a minute here to look over all the categories of face. So we have cleansers, nighttime moisturizers. All of this is sunscreen, moisturizing sunscreen, some serums, masks, toners, and stuff like that. Okay, oh, and my Curology. So let's go through them one by one. First, we'll start with the sunscreen. This is like a um, under eye SPF. It's almost empty. I used to use it all the time, but then I started using this stuff and it's just like so much better. This is also an SPF for underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna put this in my car to use on the back of my hands when I'm driving. Okay, up next, love. This stuff's okay. I have two of them. This one's empty, so it can be thrown away. Actually, there's like a, probably a little bit left, so it will also go into the car. This I will send to my cousin. Love this stuff, almost empty. I'll use that for my neck. I use this for my neck. Okay, here we go. These three bad boys. Um, this one's my fave, okay? This is my fave, I wear it every day. I will keep that. This, by the way, I have this um, oil of Olay just in case I can't find this stuff. So that's how that goes. Uh, so keep, keep this. I'll keep this. Is this expired? Hold on one second. Okay, it has not expired. It's going back in. This is at the end. This one's at the end, so this is going to be recycled. Love these two dermatology products, but this one expires 10 20 20. So that has already happened. So that is sadly going into the garbage. This is. Has this expired? Inspiration. No, this is still good. I'm gonna use it. And the other tinted sunscreen I have is this bad boy. This stuff is so good. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, number one product. So expensive. Um, this stuff, ooh, this is so bad. I love the coverage of it, but, oh, excuse me. <laughs> but it's like such a dark color wild. It's way too dark. It's supposed to be like a universal tint. Um, so I'm going to send this to my cousin because she has a tan. Okay, this one will be easy. This is nighttime moisturizers. This is my holy grail product. Definitely keeping that. This is, this is for travel. Um, what is this for? Why do I have this? Interesting. 
Um, I guess I'll keep it if I need like a light lotion. What is this? This is, ooh, Estee Lauder Nutritious. Why is there so much fragrance in this bad boy? You are going to the trash. Okay, here we go. Cleansers, a little bit left, a little bit left. Keeping both of those. Let's check out serums, shall we? Serums, masks, toners, blah, 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 blah. Adjust my camera a little bit. That was my finger. Wasn't that fun? This mask is so good. Ugh, come on, camera. This mask has saved my skin so many times. So good. You know what? I never use this, but I'm gonna keep it just in case I need it. Cause the other day I needed a, a physical exfoliator. My skin was peeling and I couldn't find one anywhere. And if I had known I had this, I would have used it. I forgot about this stuff. I think this was like, an in, this was an insane amount of money at Whole Foods. I was trying to only do natural skincare and I used it twice. I will definitely be using it again. This buffet does not work for my skin. Look, I used half of it. My skin does not like this stuff. I will send it to my cousin. Um, what about this? Oh, my skin loves this stuff. Definitely keeping this. This stuff is okay. It's just at the very bottom. I'm gonna rinse out the rest of the product and I'm gonna recycle the bottle because I think I remember it like I don't know, I think it's gone bad. The last time I used it, I got a zit. <laughs> um, this stuff has definitely expired, even though I do love it. I will be rinsing it out and recycling that bottle. Wow, this stuff I thought I was gonna wear all of the time. You know what, I really should just give this to my cousin, but I'm gonna keep it just in case I start wearing it again because I really did like it. This stuff is, this stuff is pretty great. Pretty into this stuff. I don't really know what it is, but I use it sometimes. Curology, definitely keeping. What do we got back here? This is jojoba oil. Bought this so that I could double cleanse. We'll move that over there with the cleansers. This stuff, thought I was, oh, there's a hair attached to the bottom of it. How embarrassing. This stuff, um, I don't like it. What am I gonna do with it? I'll give it to my friend Irene. She really likes it. This stuff I love and I never use. So this is a good reminder to use it. Okay, moving on. Now we are at sunscreen. This is empty, my baby. Why are you holding on to it? Recycle, recycle. Full, old, squirt out at everything and then recycle. I hate this. I'm gonna put this in my car and use on the back of my hands. Okay, nail polish, here we go. I know I'm keeping the Dior Natural Glow. So good, love that stuff. Ugh, the nail polish is actually just overwhelming. Hold on one second. Okay, here are the nail polishes I'm going to keep. Do, 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 do. Behind them, behind them are essential oils. Definitely keeping them. And then these two are like all dried out and crusty and they gotta go. This is my travel stuff. Look at all of these toothpastes. Look at all of those Listerines. There's even a Listerine in this bag. That's Nick's stuff. Toothpaste, blah, blah, blah. I, I guess I should keep it. Feels weird to throw away travel stuff. Cousin pile so far. Okay, let's talk hair stuff. This uh, is NYX and he doesn't like it. So I'm gonna be recycling that. This stuff, wow, boy oh boy, talk about changing a formula. No longer good. Um, I got these and then I discovered the controversy behind them. Um, am I gonna keep these? <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll put them in my travel. Travel, travel, travel. Bunch of hair clips, bobby pins. I will keep that. Um, I, this is something, this is a great example of something that I will keep forever and never use. So that's gonna go to the cousin. Um, this stuff I love. Is it light enough in here? Hold on. Okay, hopefully that made a difference. Anyway, I was saying that I love this stuff and I will definitely be keeping it. 
In fact, I think I'm gonna keep all of the, oh, not these two, shoot. You know what, I'll keep them. I'll, I can't get rid of shampoo and conditioner. Like, I don't like, I do not like this stuff, the Not Your Mother's, and I don't like that. Like, it just makes my hair really heavy, but um, I can't get rid of, you know what, I can get rid of, actually, sorry, I know I'm all over the place. I can get rid of the conditioners because I think that those are the main issues. Even though this conditioner I do, this one I do use as um, shaving cream. So I'll keep that, I'll keep this, 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 these two babes, those two little testers. Everything here is like Band-Aids, floss, baby foot. You know what, I'm never gonna use this. Why would I keep this? That goes to my cousin. Um, yeah, that's all stuff that is necessary. Tiny soaps, I love them. Tub stuff, shaving cream, uh, bubbly. What is that called? Why can't I think? Um, you know, the stuff that you put in the tub and it makes bubbles. Razor, backup razor, box of junk. I've gotta go through that, figure out what that is. Two mouthwashes. This one is definitely expired. I'll stick to my Toms. Um, all of my new face goodies, love my new face. And now it's time to go through my makeup. Oh boy, I'm dreading this to be honest, dreading. Before I go through my makeup, I am going to sort all of this and put it where it belongs and then go through my makeup. Okay, first up we have my everyday makeup. I don't even have to go through this bag. I know everything in there is good. This is gonna be my eye stuff that I keep, my blush that I keep, like face stuff, lip, cousin, and then this is everything I'm getting rid of, and I'll tell you why in one second. Okay, here we go. These are definitely expired. They are Urban Decay glitter eyeliners. They represent a time in my life. I loved them so, but I'm not, would never put this near my eye now. Too old. Same goes for this Estee Lauder. This was like a collaboration by Viol with Violetta, whoever that is. Loved this color. Three years old. Wouldn't feel comfortable putting that close to my eyes. This NARS lipstick, lip crayon, whatever. Could never make this work for myself. Um, this RMS, this, uh, Living Luminizer, boy oh boy, did I love this stuff until it was clearly expired because it started burning my eyes. That can happen. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna organize this into things that are expired. Absolutely love this Ilia SPF powder, but um, it's like four years old, definitely expired. This bronzer is great, but the container broke. I don't know, like a month in, and it is also four years old. All of that is just so old, I just wouldn't feel comfortable putting it on my face. Um, but there are these products, which I'm getting rid of, for poor performance. This thing, what are you? Oh, I need both hands. It's like a, 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 lum a luminizer? No. I'll give that to my cousin, maybe. Next up is this NARS double pack. It's got the orgasm blush on one side and then a highlighter on the other. It's impossible to use the blush as it always is too sparkly because of the highlighter. Um, love this color, love this color. In theory, I should wear this color every day. Hate the formula. Dries out my lips. Can't explain why. It's no good. And then this blush by Noto. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. This is not for me. This color is not for me. You know what? I love this Noto blush. I love this color. What is this color? It's just, they only have two colors and one is red and one is orange. And this is the red one and it's so great, but these are both like four years old. What am I doing? This Too Faced blush I will keep, of course. Um, Oh my God, I just said I was, I just said I was gonna keep that Too Faced blush and then I dropped it on the ground. A sad day. 
You were good to me while it lasted, my friend. Wow, and I was almost like, I had, I had hit pan and I was almost done with it. Sad. This color, baby love, it's great. This is the best foundation of all time. This Double Wear Water Fresh. They don't make it anymore. So I snatched up like three colors that are all in the wrong shade. Let's see. Yeah, that is not my shade. They're not my shade, but I keep them. Sometimes I contour with them. And this is just like the regular Double Wear that I keep around if I'm doing like a commercial audition or something. But otherwise, there we go. One of these, one of these powders is empty. I need to figure out which one. And the other one is not my favorite powder. Guys, I am fading. <laughs> this is so much crap. Okay, this is a quad called Modern Nudes by a company I'd never heard of called Lash Star. I love it so much. Bobbi Brown, this is just like a, a dark brand. You know what, you probably wanna see these colors, don't you? Hold on, wait, this is a bronzing powder? I thought this was an eyeshadow. <sighs> bye, bye, get out of here. Um, you know this color, this is like a YouTube favorite. Bet Eyes to Memorize by Charlotte Tilbury. I never wear this. I spent too much money on it to let it go. Super Goop, love this. SPF Shimmer, this is, what color is this? Golden Hour, expires 2020. Damn. Um, Thrive, this color is okay. It's an okay color, what is this? What's the color? Pilly, P-I-L-L-I. It's fine, I like it because it's easy. Um, white eyeliner, love a white eyeliner. Aquamarine eyeliner, love an aquamarine eyeliner. Makeup forever. Am I like the worst blogger of all time? I really don't like this color. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. It looks so bad on me. It was so expensive though. I gotta find a way to make it work. This stuff's awesome. This is like a white eyeliner from ColourPop. It's so cheap. You put it on your eye, do like a white eyeliner, and then you can put like eyeshadow over it and it becomes very cool looking. Um, what's this? Fill and fluff, eyebrow stuff. I'm not, I'm not, I might need it. I might need it. I never do my eyebrows, but just in case. Long wear cream, stick, sand, dune. You know what, this is like five years old. Okay, this is the pilly color. It's fine. It looks kind of like golden baby poop, but I like that it's easy to use. This is the Lash Star Modern Nudes. Just really great. Um, and then this is the Lilac Lotus Shishido Eyeliner. I wish I could return this. Sephora, I made a mistake, Sephora in terms of an eyeliner. Oh, I might actually use that as a blush though. It's kind of cute. Uh, am I step, I'm stepping on the blush on the bath mat. That's why you deal with things right away, Ash. Okay, let's talk lip stuff. This stuff is great, definitely gonna keep. So moisturizing, it pretty much disappears after five minutes, but I love it. Love birthdaybalm.com. Did it comp? <laughs> birthdaybalm.com. Do they still make this? Love the taste and the flavor. This, I do not like. Um, This, I love this lipstick. This is, I had a couple of these and they're I'm like, surely they've been expired, but this one's never been used. I'm gonna keep it. It is, uh, what is this? Cover Girl Hot Passion. For when you wanna do a bold lip. Oh my goodness, one of my faves of all time. Purity Permission, per, per, what is that? Persimmon, Purity Persimmon by Wet n Wild. I will continue to use that. I have had this for four years. I've worn it. 
once, maybe twice. I'm gonna keep it for when I'm feeling wild. I feel like lipsticks last longer than other stuff, right? What is this? Um, what is this? Oh, this one's great. This is Pure Envy. This is a color that they discontinued because Estee Lauder discontinues everything that I love. This is a this is a Laura Mercier uh, color called Baby Lips. Love this stuff. I think I got it when I got that blush that I just ruined. It's a really nice color, a nice formula. This uh, Tristique is called, what is this, Costa Rica Coral. I went through like an orange lip phase. I think maybe we all did. And I really wore this guy to the max. I'm gonna keep it. Good memories. What are you? Um, you are Clinique Dare Pop. I remember not liking you that much. Oh no, that's a good color. I like that. I'll keep it. Let's see, this is, oh, I loved this. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about 2017 maybe, Trustique. Hi, so um, a lot happened, yeah, from the last time I saw you. Uh, my phone storage was full, and then my phone died, and then I went to dinner, and I saw a movie, and then the next day happened, and now we're in it, and it's night, and I just want to wrap this up because I spent so much time trying to make it watchable. Who knows if this will be anything. Um, I'd love to find out. I'm sure you'd love to find out as well, but I just wanted to, like, I wanted to just put a bow on this baby. You know what I mean? So we stopped talking at the lipsticks and I am gonna pick up there because there's uh, there's four left that I have very extreme feelings about and I'm gonna show you the trash, the recycling, what my cousin is getting and then just the bathroom done, okay? Did I get rid of two thirds of stuff? That's a great question. Um, yes? I don't actually know. I kind of threw that measurement out the window about two hours in. But let's talk lipsticks for this final portion and then we'll get to trash, okay? Okay, last lipsticks. Um, I'm actually, now that I'm starting this, I'm realizing we did talk about these two Trustiques. This big one being the, what's it called? The big one being the Tuscan Wine. Love this color. It, I got very into it when I was watching a lot of Fleabag. And then the Chili Red, which I got really into when I was doing a lot of orange nails, orange lips. The last two, these two Glossier Generation Z. Is that what they're called? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one is called Like, and this one's called Zip. Can you, I don't know how YouTubers get things to focus. I'm unsure of that. Like and Zip. I really and truly, dislike these two lip uh, lipsticks, lip, lip tints. I dislike them. I don't like the formula. I don't like the color. And yet, sometimes when I put them together, I'm like, this kind of works. And then I put a little lip gloss on top and I make it work. And they're just new and I spent money on them. And so I'm gonna keep them for now. But, but if six months goes by and I haven't used them, I am going to get rid of them. Okay, on to the trash. Target bags are recycling, Barnes and Noble, and then random, I think it's a stop and shop bag. Those are trash. So look at all that, that's pretty good. That's something to be proud of. And then this is the bag of goodies going to my cousin. Please ignore the cat toy. Bag of goodies going to my cousin. And then the bathroom is so clean, y'all. I love it, I love all of this really pared down collection. This is so much more manageable. Some of that stuff you did not see on the top shelf because it is not mine. Oh, can I get a light in here? Can we get a light please? No, sometimes that light works and sometimes it doesn't, but like look how like chill the shower is. Look how great, and this might look cluttered to you, but I assure you, this is simplified. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something. Um, I am very curious to see if this comes out. Do you think that I will release this? Who knows, anything could happen. Uh, I am going to continue to get rid of stuff 
as I get ready to move. So maybe I'll do some more decluttering bids. Who knows? The future is wide open. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.